What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to the kitchen. But if you are new here, you are very much welcome as well. I would only like to ask you to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button which usually pops up after you hit the subscribe button and that's that little bell. And that is so that you will be notified every single Sunday at 5 p.m. that I have uploaded a video. And also to my existing subscribers, if you have not already hit that notification button, just go back to my page, you'll see that little bell, hit that bell button so that you will always be notified every single time. Okay, so today in the kitchen, what I would love to talk with you all about is my three month lock update on my two strand twist starter locks. Okay, so during my first month with my two strand twist starter locks, I have to say that my main concern was my locks or would you say my twists unraveling and to be 100% honest only about five at max did actually unravel and it didn't unravel all the way to the root it just only unraveled just a little bit at the end and at the ends and then um, what I had to do was just twist them back and that was it but I was worried wondering if they were going to take longer to lock but no I don't think they did I think everything is just fusing together at the same time even though some was actually you know retwisted the ones that were unraveling they were actually unraveling like a few times it's not like it unraveled once and then I twist it and then it was all good no they kept unraveling and I just that that's why I was so worried about whether or not they were going to lock or if they were going to take longer to lock and also another worry of mine was when it came time to wash my hair and I was thinking man they're all going to unravel and I was really 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 concerned about whether or not they would unravel and to my surprise they did not unravel yes a few did but it wasn't a lot that was unraveling and it was quite okay and what um, I noticed as well is that once I gave it a nice fresh retwist it looked like my hair well retwist at the roots it looked like my hair was all freshly retwisted you know like a brand new twist and um, so I thought that was quite interesting because I wasn't actually expecting that I was expecting something worse but it didn't come out too bad if you want to see what my locks did actually look like after my first month of washing it I'll just leave a video link right here as well for you to go and check that out and that video is about how to wash starter locks and that's exactly how I washed my hair and the result was exactly what it is another thing that I um, struggled with during my first month of my lock-in period was the fact that I was I started becoming so indecisive of my locks whether I liked the size of it or if I liked the method in which I did it and that was just playing in my head like I was thinking I want to undo them I want them smaller or I want them bigger like I literally was going from big to small big to small but it's funny because every time when I'd go in the bathroom and look in the mirror I'm like no I actually like the size of them I actually like how they look but then I was just obsessing over people's videos on YouTube and also on Instagram I'm watching other people with their locks and then I start feeling bad about my locks and then I look in the mirror and I'm like no actually I like them like this is exactly what I want and honestly I had to just tell myself you should stop watching these people's videos and stop looking and hunting down locks and all of that to then feel you know like indecisive but now I am very very settled and loving the locks and everything and how it's looking like when I see other people I can just really admire them like oh my your locks look good I can't wait to see what my locks are gonna look like once they get to that stage so anyway let's go into month two So month two was pretty much similar to month one in the sense of my hair was still unraveling some of them were unraveling and to be honest it kind of got frustrating and it was just like come on now what is going to happen here but to be honest when um 
it came to washing my hair again at the two month mark i was more confident this time in washing my hair i wasn't so concerned about my hair unraveling the unraveling definitely kind of slowed down so by month two i also noticed that my hair wasn't feeling so spongy you know when you just finished doing a twist and your hair feel pretty much like a sponge it's very soft and by month two I noticed that it started to feel a little bit more hard so I started thinking yes it's locking but no they're still pretty much by the end of month two still look like twists but as much as my hair at month two never really looked like locks they looked more closer to resembling locks than it was at month one you would have seen in the photos that I've shown that they pretty much started to look like locks but if you were to come up close and have a good look you'd be like no those are twists like when you're gonna pull your twist out and retwist it but if you know like I know these are gonna be some locks okay <laughs> My locks they are starting to get really frizzy like frizz bomb like whoa what's going on here but um, yeah frizz is real and don't hate your frizz people because your frizz is what is going to help you make your locks look your two strand twists look like locks but I did start this journey with 69 locks and now I actually have 70 locks because there was this one particular one that just kept unraveling and I'm just like you know what maybe you're trying to tell me you are too big in my head top right now so I just split it and to be honest that was one of the bigger locks that I do did have so I split it and now I've got 70. They definitely still look they still resemble twists but they are not so much like yeah those are twists you know they they look starting to look more so like locks and I'm really 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 happy about that because when I look in the mirror myself I can I feel like I'm looking at locks rather than twists and also yes when I actually pulled that hair out to actually split it and form it in two different locks that lock that twist was starting to lock already and I was actually quite surprised I'm like whoa this is locking already like it really did take me a little just a little bit of time just to kind of you know comb it out and it was like ouch girl you hurt <laughs> and also I noticed that my hair is growing but I think that's also due to my hair growth oil that I'm using which I'm currently on a hair growth challenge because as mentioned if you're not already aware I'm going through postpartum shedding and I need my hair to grow back before you know well not before but much sooner than they say it usually take for it to grow back so anyway I noticed that my hair is actually growing or I feel I don't know it could be all in my head I don't know but I feel like my hair is growing man I'm just happy that I'm here I'm just so happy that I'm here at month three and I'm not gonna lie I am loving my hair I'm just loving it I'm like dang I can't wait for you to be locked each month that goes by they're more and more looking like locks and that's why I'm so excited I'm just so happy that I actually went with the two strand twist method this time around because everything is just locking at the same time and all my locks are looking uniform and they are looking like yes we, we get in there together okay so that is my three month lock update video I hope you guys found it interesting and you know informative if you are someone who is on a lock journey who started on a two strand twist or if you are thinking about starting your lock journey and think and you're considering to start it with a two strand twist at least you know this is what you can expect so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting and if you did please go ahead and thumbs up drop a comment and subscribe if you are not already subscribed and also if you want to see more of my content be sure to wait to the very end of this video i am going to leave another link to another video that you can check out so until next week sunday at 5 p.m i will see you right back here in the kitchen bye